So today we are looking at Electros. Electros is a mono electric type with the levitate ability, which means the levitate ability makes the user of the ability immune to ground types. Electric only has the one weakness to ground, so what could possibly go wrong in this case? Electros 2 has a fairly vast move pool as far as attacking moves go, whether they be physical or special. This thing gets a lot of type coverage. Now, as far as status moves go, Electros doesn't really have the deepest of move pools, which means it doesn't necessarily have the best supportive kit. This thing is relatively slow with a base 50 speed, so under Trick Group, you might be able to make a case for running a few of these status moves to disrupt your opponents, but otherwise you're probably going to be looking at using damaging moves. So as far as some notable status moves that we do have here is we have Thunder Wave here, so because this is not coming off of a Prankster Pokemon, we can paralyze Dark Types with Electros, which would be relatively nice, except for the fact that Trick Room does make the slower Pokemon go fast. So basically, we don't necessarily want to slow down our opponents with Thunder Wave in Trick Room, but if Trick Room is hypothetically going to expire and you get that Thunder Wave off, Trick Room wears off, great. You might have a little bit of a case for having the speed drop into your opponent, and plus the chance of them being able to potentially miss their turn is always nice at the end of the day. Gastro Acid here nullifies the ability of the target, which could be relatively nice for getting rid of some pesky abilities. You could have some weird shenanigans with Gastro Acid, don't get me wrong, it could be relatively nice, but I don't necessarily know if it's the best move to consider running on a Pokemon with Electros's exact stat breakdown, which we'll get into in just a moment. And then finally, we do have Light Screen, which could be used to reduce the amount of damage that the entire team takes from special attacks for five turns so normally i would say light screen is a great ability but i think or rather it'd be a great move but i think electros would probably benefit from a partner pokemon going for light screen and reflect especially something that can have both of those moves and the light clay stacked up and then maybe you might be starting to cook something delicious. I don't know. And then as far as the rest of Electros' status moves go, it really is not that deep of a move pool. Here we go. We got Bulk Up, we got Coil, and honestly, you would probably be better off running Coil over Bulk Up since on top of giving you an attack and defense boost like Bulk Up does, Coil does give you an accuracy boost as well. And then as I mentioned, there's Light Screen and Thunder Wave. Then uh, what Smoke on deems as usually useless moves, we got Charge, we got Confuse Rate, Eerie Impulse, uh, Electric Terrain, Gastro Acid, Sunny Day, Rain Dance, and Scary Face. If Electros was a bit faster, like maybe say base 70 speed, you could maybe make a case for Scary Face on it, and then that way one Scary Face would be enough to drop something speed so that Electros might be able to take advantage of it. But at base 50 speed, probably not. Now, you could hypothetically make a case for if you are playing in Trick Room and you have your Restricted Legendary being a relatively faster Pokemon. Since Electros is so slow, it could potentially side Scary Face, your partner, and then lower your speed so that you go a little bit earlier in Trick Room. You could maybe make a case for that, but other than that, it's really not going to be doing you any favors. Similarly, Sunny Day and Rain Dance are probably better coming off of Prankster Pokemon Pokemon or Pokemon with the abilities that naturally set those conditions. And similarly enough, Electric Terrain is on this list as well. Miradon is probably a significantly better Pokemon to bring up the Electric Terrain or even say something significantly faster. And then you get your Electric Terrain. And then finally, Eerie Impulse is similar to what I said about Rain Dance and Sunny Day. You're probably better off having a uh, Prankster Pokemon for that status move right there, which means we're going to be wanting to focus on doing some damage with Eel Electros. And as far as Eel Electros' stats go, we do have a base 115 attack as well as 105 special attack. So this thing could go either way on the special or the physical side. You could technically run a mixed set, but it's probably the best to devote your EVs to one of those two uh, stats at the end of the day and try to invest in a little bit of bulk. You have base 80 in both of your defenses, which is not terrible, but 
it's not really the greatest since electric doesn't really have the most uh, defensive resistances. It resists flying electric and steel, and then it's pretty much neutral to everything else. So really, if you had a more defensive typing, like say maybe steel or poison, you could maybe make a case for trying to have Electros be a little bit bulkier. With the base 85 HP, it's not the worst thing imaginable either. You could run some bulk investment into your HP, choose an attack stat of your choice, choose one of your defensive stats, and then you could try to patch your other defensive stat up with either, say, a Terrain Seed, the Assault Vest. You could have Coaching Shenanigans if you wanted to run a Physical Electros. You could also go for Coil to s set yourself up, and then that way, too, your partner doesn't necessarily have to commit to boosting up Electros. So you could have something like that. And as I mentioned, too, this thing is a base 50 speed Pokemon, so it would thrive in Trick Room. Do not get me wrong, it would definitely benefit from having Trick Room to help it. But one downside to Levitate, though, is it also doesn't keep you grounded, which means you can't necessarily benefit from the effects of terrain. Like Electric Terrain, being able to prevent you from being put to sleep wouldn't work because you're not grounded. Similarly, Grassy Terrain would not give you a little bit of chip recovery, nor would uh, Psychic Terrain protect you from priority moves. So that is one downside to having Levitate as your ability. But Silver Lining is you do protect yourself from ground-type attacks, so... That is relatively nice. Like back in the day, there used to be like a strategy where people would find a way to get Wonder Guard, Wonder Guard off of Shedinja, and then they would f switch things around, skill swap the Wonder Guard onto the Electros, have it hold an air balloon, and then this thing was just unkillable because of how Wonder Guard worked. Uh, unfortunately and thankfully, you cannot recreate that strategy since Shedinja is not in the game. So let's talk about some ideas for some damaging sets. And the first one that I was thinking of talking about is going to be a physical coil set so coil here does raise your attack defense and accuracy one stage and because you're getting an accuracy boost this might be one of the few times where super cell slam might be better than wild charge objectively now it does take half of your hp if you miss the attack or say your opponent switches in a ground type or they just go for protect but if you're not too worried about your opponent switching or if you say like have a move on a partner pokemon like say soak which turns your opponent's typing into water you could go for the supercell slam after a coil boost with the plus one accuracy your accuracy is at over 100 and your attack stat is getting a 50 percent boost at stage one so right there supercell slam is going to hurt thanks to the stab modifier as well as the attack modifier from coil and you don't have to worry about necessarily running the risk of losing that HP. And if you're worried about Protect, well, what you could do instead is you could run a Pokemon that knows the move Faint. Faint is a very, very weak move. It's not the strongest hitting move out there, but it does have the effect of removing moves such as Protect, Detect, Quick Guard, Wide Guard, Spiky Shield. It's only base 30 power, but... If you get the feint off right there, you do a little bit of chip damage, which, which means you do break a Focus Sash, and you get to remove Protect. So outside of being a Ghost type, since Ghost types are um, immune to normal type attacks, this could be a relatively nice move to pair with Super Cell Slam. You go in with your partner, go for the feint, and then Super Cell Slam just hits them and finishes them right then and there. So what I was thinking too is feint could be a nice means of supporting Electros with Supercell Slam. Cinderace gets it, Iron Valiant gets it, Weavile gets it, Sneasler gets it, Halucha gets it. Um, coincidentally enough, so does Riolu, so you could have Prankster coaching Riolu with Faint right there to help Electros at the end of the day. It's not the worst thing imaginable, but back on track, what you could also do too is you, by having coaching or not coaching, sorry, Coil boost up your defense. You don't necessarily need to invest in your defense stat. So we just have our EVs broken up between our HP, our attack, and our special defense. So we have a little bit of bulk into our special defense. We have our HP, and then we have 156 EVs into the attack stat to bring us up to 170. We have an adamant nature on this thing, but we could run brave if we wanted to have the more optimal nature for a trick room. 
at 170, you're getting a plus one boost. So a 50% right there off a coil means you are well over 200, which means one coil is all you're going to really need to do a lot of damage on the physical front. Now, you're probably going to want uh, two or three of them to have a nice physically bulky Pokemon at the end of the day, which means Drain Punch could be a great move to have in addition to Supercell Slam and Coil, since Drain Punch is a fighting type attack that does recover 50% of the damage dealt in HP. So you do have that, and you could run knockoff to remove items to make your opponent's Pokemon a little less uh, tedious to get around. And what I was thinking too is if you had a Psychic Seed on Electros with the 124 EVs into your special defense at 116, you're getting that plus one boost right here at the end of the day. 116 with 50% of that is going to break down to being 174 which is fairly respectable so you're not necessarily the frailest right there on the specially defensive side and you're getting bulkier and bulkier with the coils and you have drain punch to restore your hp while having supercell slam become more accurate and therefore deadlier with each coil and plus you do have the knockoff to remove items but Electros does have a really deep move pool so if you don't necessarily want to run knockoff what you could do is you could have acrobatics and since you have a psychic seed potentially once the psychic seed is consumed acrobatics is going to double in power from 55 to 110 you get liquidation so you have a base 85 water type attack that's got a decent chance of lowering the target's defense one stage at 20 percent you have lunge which is a guaranteed attack drop which is relatively nice and while it's not drain punch you do get close combat which does make you a little bit on the frailer side but close combat at 120 power is going to benefit from coil increasing your attack each time so just move for font if you want to run that on a physical set in addition to Supercell Slam and Drain Punch as an alternative to Knockoff. You could have something like this. And then on a specially defensive Electros, what I was thinking of too is you could take advantage of the Assault Vest to patch up your special defense. You could have, say, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and Giga Drain for your primary damage dealing moves and then you could use acid spray to soften up your target since that does lower your spe your opponent's special defense two stages you can heal up with giga drain as an alternative to drain punch on a physical set you have flamethrower or potentially fire blast to hit steel type attacks as well as grass type pokemon that would resist giga drain and then you have thunderbolt or whatever attacking choice you want for other electric type attacks so we could bring up that right here so we'll bring up special attacks and we'll also type in uh electric type moves right here and we'll go from there so you could have volt switch to pivot out you could go for thunder and pair this with a pelipper or even a kyogre and then that way you don't have to worry about thunder having to have accuracy checks or you could have discharge it's going to be a little bit weaker than thunderbolt but at the same time 30 percent chance to target or to paralyze all of the pokemon on the field is relatively nice especially if you have a ground type pokemon next to electros since trick room is going to be really nice for this thing you could have an ursaluna blood moon here which is naturally a great ground type so you could have the ursaluna just sit in next to electros while electros goes for discharges and then ursaluna just hits things with hyper voices it could be relatively nice and then as an alternative to and it's really gimmicky you could have the charge beam which does give you a 70 percent chance to raise your special attack one stage so you could have that as well and then some partners that i was thinking of that could be relatively nice for electros is you could have indeedy for trick room support as well as follow me and then this way if you're playing a coil electros you could have the follow me while you go for coil and since you would be providing the psychic surge with indeedy you would naturally activate a psychic seed if you want to go for a grassy seed you could easily do the same thing with rillaboom and have fake out to try to shut down one of your opponents to pokemon with the fake out and then that way you're naturally at a plus one into your defense on your the physical side so you could go for another coil maybe run a little bit more evs into your special defense just to patch that up and just go from there clefairy could be another great redirection support since you do have friend guard right here to reduce the amount of damage 
your partners take. You have follow me to redirect attacks away. You have helping hand. Clefairy is incredibly slow in Trick Room, so this could be relatively nice for Electros if you get the Trick Room up. Yeah, and plus, you don't necessarily have to run one or the other. If you wanted to have like a really defensive redirection backbone for the team, you could have Clefairy and Indeedee together. Maybe Indeedee goes down after getting the Trick Room up and follow going for follow me to redirect attacks and then clefairy comes in to let electros do what it needs to do now if i'm being completely transparent you're probably putting a lot of work on your restricted mon in the reg g format but at the same time what i was thinking of for restricted bonds is it's gonna be fair for that at the end of the day and one thing i just want to make a note of too is uh, either Heal Pulse or Life Dew would be really nice uh, healing support as well on Clefairy since you can have the quarter of the max HP of both Pokemon restored with Life Dew or you could run the potential risk of redirection but have Heal Pulse to heal your partner by 50% of their max HP. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it too, Amoongus could be really nice with Pollen Puff and Rage Powder as a nice backup plan too. Maybe you don't want to run Clefairy, you want to run Amoongus instead and then have that Spore support. You could do that. Maybe you could do Electros in DD, Amoongus plus a Restricted Legendary. And then that way too, you have a means of healing up Electros or the Restricted po Pokemon with Amoongus' Pollen Puff and you can go from there. Now, as far as restricted Pokemon go, I think Calyrex Ice Rider could be great, Necrozma Duskmane, Dialga, all of which are known for setting Trick Room, and then alternatively too, instead of Duskmane, you could have Dawnwings, or you could have Lunala too. So that's five different restricted legendary Pokemon. I think Calyrex would be really nice, especially since Glacial Lance would be able to do raw damage. You have high horsepower as well to hit uh, fire types, and then that way you have that nice synergy. And if you're not worried about Terra Fire Levitate, well, you could just slap Protect on as your last move right here. Or if you just want to have another damaging move, since Ice Rider is so bulky, you could go for either Close Combat, you can go for a Throat Chop, and then that way too, you have some nice Dark type coverage to hit um ghost types and psychic types for super effective damage you could also run heavy slam and then that way too you have steel type coverage to hit fairy type pokemon you could do any combination of that for ice rider alongside electros and then indeed clefairy maybe even a blood moon you could have some kind of a combination like that necrozma duskmane could be really nice especially since it gets access to sword stance and it's going to be increasing its base 157 attack two stages per use with sword stance and the clear amulet is nice since you don't have to worry about intimidate and also going back to the ice rider for a quick second clear amulet would be I mean, you see it all, pretty much all the time on Ice Rider. But Clear Amulet on both of these Pokemon could be relatively nice since you don't have to worry about Intimidate. So going back to Dusk Main right here, you could have the Sunsteel Strike. You could have Earthquake. You could have Sword Stance, a Trick Room. You can set up your Trick Room with your Restricted Legendary. And then maybe say you go ne Necrozma, Dusk Main, Indeedee with Electros in the back. You could have something like that. The Necrozma sets up the Trick Room. Indeedee follows, goes for Follow Me. Indeedee goes down. Electros comes in electros goes for coil dusk main goes for damage or sword stance and you go for uh, for that so that could be nice and the nice thing too is electros's levitate would protect you from earthquake off of the dusk main so you do have that and plus as i mentioned you have the sword stance to power this thing up so in theory you could maybe make it work and then i was thinking dialga could be kind of nice especially since when we're looking at the special attacking set with the acid spray dialga would definitely benefit from having your opponents softened up with the acid spray lowering their special defense two stages so you could go for draco meteors with dialga you can go flash cannon or earth power to do some major damage dialga is going to be a special alternative to calyrex ice and necrozma duskmane being physical attackers so just some uh, representation there for these special attackers but as i mentioned too you could go for dawn wings or lunala if you wanted to go for lunala one nice thing that lunala gets over necrozma is it does get access to wide guard necrozma does not get wide guard to my general knowledge we'll bring it up right quick here but yeah wide guard's illegal on necrozma so 
You could have the Wide Guard on Lunala, and then that way, if you're worried about opposing Blood Moons or Shadow Riders or Ice Riders, you can just shut down Hyper Voice or the Calyrex's signature move of choice with Wide Guard. So that would be definitely a nice option to have at the end of the day. Anyways, I don't necessarily know how I feel about Electros. I do think it does have some potential, and plus... I did get a bunch of shiny ones from Pokemon Go's most recent Community Day, so I would love to rock a shiny Electros. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be good, but I'm definitely going to look forward to trying it in the near future. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to this ramble. I will see you next time.